Good morning, Option Strat traders. Steve Gans coming to you with a trade concept idea. <clears throat> excuse me, to uh, make in paper trading. This is going to be a trade in Apple around earnings. So if we come take a look at Apple, this is a chart. Apple is near its recent highs uh, back in August of last year, if you want to call that recent. Um, anyhow, what I'm going to do on this is I'm looking at a trade that's likely going to be neutral but maybe skewed a little bit more to the upside because I think Apple might actually break out on this earnings. Um, and the reason I'm thinking that is it keeps making higher highs and it keeps making higher lows. So many times when you get into an upside wedge pattern like that, uh, something like an earnings announcement can propel it over the top. So I'm going to want to allow a little extra room uh, if you will, to the upside in this trade. So how do we configure something like this? Well, I'm going to call this largely neutral, but you'll see in a minute I'm going to adjust that a little bit. So I'm going to come in and look at an iron condor. And on this iron condor, let me tighten up my range here a little bit, I'm going to go a very short time out. So this is going to expire on Friday. Now the reason I'm going so short is volatility is up significantly right now because we're going into earnings. When volatility is higher, that's a really good time to sell short options. Now, of course, we're gonna back those up with some long options because I personally don't like undefined risk. I will trade it from time to time in rare instances, but I largely tend to steer clear of it. So, if my premise is I want to uh, be in a trade like this, but I want to allow a little more open to the upside, how could I potentially skew this? Well, I could skew this by taking my short and moving it out a little bit, something like this. That does give me more risk to the downside. Now we can see our former outline here, this white line here, is what we were previously now by making this adjustment and moving that upper short call out a little bit, we're giving ourselves more upside range in this trade. Again, we're, for the trade-off, we are taking on a little more downside risk, but that downside risk doesn't come in here until 165. So let's go back to our chart take a look here so 165 so you know we do have some downside risk there if this drops considerably but again we don't have as much upside risk and that's my premise for this particular trade so this is the trade that I'm going to look at I'm going to go ahead and save this trade I will copy this link and uh, I'm going to uh, call this an earnings trade because that's that's the um, that's what's prompting me to take this trade at this time as we're going to trade around earnings. So I'm going to save that trade. I'm going to copy that link and I will put that in the post. Now, uh, today is Wednesday. I'm putting this out in enough time that people can make this trade in paper today or tomorrow. doesn't make any difference. Tomorrow night after the close, Thursday night after the close is when Apple's going to have their earnings announcement. So you're going to want to see what this looks like on Friday morning. That's our goal or objective is that some, uh, sometime Friday morning, this thing's going to float between our 165 strike roughly and maybe our 177, 178. Uh, if it is in that range, this is going to decay very, very rapidly and you're going to see the P&L drift up here pretty rapidly toward that $200 mark. And then you can choose where during the day on Friday you'd like to consider taking that trade off. Again, this is a paper trade as all of my trades are. This is so that you can learn and see different concepts and ideas. And in this case, we're looking at a skewed iron condor is what I wanted to show you. So that's it for today from Kauai and um, happy trading everyone.